What's up, YouTube? My name is Danny. I want to welcome you guys to my channel. If you're new here, leave a like and subscribe. Let me uh, get to what I really came to uh, tell you. I want to share and review the Sideshow Mr. Freeze premium format. Uh, right off the bat, you can probably tell he's sort of comic book accurate. He's right out of the uh, Batman animated series. And uh, let's get right to it. Right here we have the exclusive, which comes with his uh, beloved Nora right here. She does light up. It's a pretty nice exclusive. Uh, it ties in well with the character. Uh, but for me, it's, you know, it's cool, but it's a little bit underwhelming. It does light up. It's right now lit up. I'm going to turn it off but she's uh, elegant she's very delicate as this little dome here doesn't go in all the way it just kind of sits there so moving Nora is a bit of a chore but uh, let's move Nora and let's continue with Mr. Freeze himself so now going to his base he's standing on a uh, frozen grate uh, it looks like uh, you have some icicles Sticking out of it, if you go all the way around. The icicle's done really well. The snow lacks a little texture. Uh, not not bad, but it could have been a little bit better. But really, overall, it is well done. It is, after all, frozen. I like the, uh, the blues along with the whites. Uh, some good shading to give it that realistic feel. But I think that the, uh, the uh, icicles and the ice look really good i mean it looks like it could be legit it's cold to the touch it looks like obviously it's not but that does create that effect he's also standing on now uh, what looks to be batman's cape that is pretty fragile but it's well made overall it's a nice touch it's a nice easter egg and also on the base you have a batarang which towards the tips has what looks to be like frost on it giving it that realistic look and it's also uh, creating a, broke, uh, a breakage on the ice, which looks real. As we move up, we have his boots, which have all this tubing around it that looks uh, obviously frozen, and that delivers the uh, ice and the ice liquid that keeps him alive. As we move up, the boot, we have some really good detail. Again, some of that fr uh, frost that's uh, around it, you can see it as you move up. It looks really good. All these rivets that keep that uh, metal together. And they did a beautiful job, really just making this look realistic and very convincing. Uh, as you move up, he's wearing like a leather suit underneath all that. And the boots and also some of the rest of his costume is uh, like metal armor plates that go around it uh, that also, I guess, deliver the, uh, the fluid that keeps him alive. Anyways, as we continue to move up, there's some nice detail on these pants. They do look leathery. The stitch work is really good. There's some nice shading in there. There's some grays, some light blues, and then same thing with the, the blacks with a little blue hue to them. Uh, great shadows, great detailing. Uh, just a good overall sculpt by Sideshow. As you can see, the folds as you move up, they typically do a good work with that. And you have uh, just a very realistic and convincing looking uh, suit. As we continue to move up, uh, I felt like they could have done a little better job with uh, this here, uh, as it maybe was a little bit of a defect. Uh, looks good, but it could have been a little bit better. Again, you see the rivets, you see the good detail, the different shades of uh, silver and gray in there, along with some black lining on it. They do look very, very good. This was an easy piece to assemble. There's uh, not a lot to them. And uh, it went together fairly easy. It's fairly compact. Uh, he's about 24 inches tall to the top of his gun. And uh, not very wide, easy to display. So moving up, we'll continue moving up the uh, gauntlets. As you go up this way. And then I'm going to show you the back, which has that backpack that uh, he uses for his gun. Also, I guess it keeps him... Uh, alive since he has to be below zero to survive they did a lot of great work here so a lot of good detail on this uh, i do wish there was a little more i guess detail on on the pipes maybe some uh, frost here as well but uh they might have a reason for doing it or not doing it but it does look really good i like how they have the handle right there it looks really cool 
and then uh, we're gonna go up his gun. I do love how the hoses that attach to the gun have frost on them. That looks really good. It was an easy install, no problem. And the gun looks great. And you can see the frost on it. And also on top, you can see right there. But a lot of good detail. Uh, I think Sideshow, you know, they get a, a bad rap sometimes. But uh, and honestly, I think their quality is great. And lately, their paintwork has been outstanding. Uh, the portrait is one of the stars here. It looks really good. Great detail. And uh, just look at that. Look at all the wrinkles. The uh, pale skin with some some of like a it's like a gray and a light gray so you got some good shadowing there the goggles look great and then i really like the dome the glass dome this is actually pretty secure because it goes in a good inch you know maybe a little more and it sits there so you can move them around and not have to worry about it uh breaking but here you go guys the uh mr freeze premium format now he wasn't a statue that i was gonna get i'm not a uh, not that I don't care for the character, but he's okay. He wasn't something I was going to pick up. And then I walked into a local comic shop and they had the exclusive. Um, and it was a, just a great deal. So I picked him up and I'm glad I did because I have some of the uh, villains. And uh, now it just grew a little more. But uh, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have a good one, guys.